we're gonna get these people. We're gonna get them good. I've been bothering them all day. They're scammers. Hello? Hello? I heard you guys pick up the phone. I know you're on the line. It's all right. My phone notifies me when you disconnect the call. I'll just sit there and take up your time. It's too bad, to my, it's too bad your mom raised such a fucking bad kid that has to scam people and lie and do all that stuff. Should have better parents. Yeah. And I really hope you're not a dad or else your son or daughter is going to turn out to be a loser like you, probably. And I really hope you don't have a wife because women need to marry real men. It's alright, the more I type your line, the more you can't scam other people because you're a fucking liar. Yeah. You are a liar. A bad person, too. And we're going to be calling this scammer again. Nine oh one two four eight six two four five is the number, by the way. Like I said, I'm going to keep calling you guys. You guys have nothing better to do than scam people. And today I have the day off, so I've got nothing better to do to make sure that I can stop at least some of it. Because you guys are bitches. I'm actually going to change the number I call from. And because I have an Android, so it gives me the opportunity to call from my Google Voice account. So we're going to run this on them now. I just got to do something real quick. I turn my Wi-Fi, my 3G on, so that my Google Voice will uh, go through. Because it's saying that I can't call through Google Voice right now. Because my Wi-Fi or my 3G is not on. So, and I actually want to use, turn on both of them just in case Wi-Fi goes out. I can use 3G as backup. So... Pretty funny, guys. I mean, it's not funny what these people do for a living, but what the funny part about it is, 
is the fact that they, I mean, first off, how do these people get away with this shit, man? I guess what I want to know. Like, they're being fucking scammers, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're calling people up, telling people that they owe a debt, and then they'll be prosecuted and all kinds of stuff. And then when you call them on it, and then as you can see, this is how, this is how they act. Like a like a vigilante collections company, but the only problem is, is they're not even legitimately a connection a collections company. You know, and they'll have these people afraid that they're going to go to jail or something, and they do it all the time, and they make a lot of money on these scams. I mean, which is kind of baffles my mind as to how they can even do this, like how they're getting away with it, you know. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. But I think I actually have to reset my phone. Yeah, I do. I have to reset my phone. Um, but I'll keep on. I'll make another video. I'm going to be harassing these folks all day for y'all. Later. Yeah, uh, by the way, my other channel is jl 3 jl 3221 so if you want to head over there, um, yeah, later.